Assalamu alaikum beautiful people. I hope everybody will be fine. Guys, do you think what should be the minimum site experience for fresh civil engineering students? Yes, of course, this is very important. So if you don't know, so watch this video till the end to know this important point. Let's get started. If this topic is simple for you, so you may like this video. Guys, I saw many construction sites. There are more civil engineering students they are working to get experience. Some are working for uh, from five years, some are working from six, eight years, but they don't know the technical terms on construction site. They are just wasting their time. So guys, this is not good for them. They are just working for pocket money because nowadays there is no job, government job, private job. So therefore, they are just wasting their time on the name of experience and they are just making pocket money so guys this is not important as i told you so this is the reality which i'm telling you if you want to get experience so you should have minimum you should have minimum six months experience in six months you can learn a lot of but if you try if you are just wasting your time for on construction sites so this is not good for you and uh, i saw as i told you more students they are working they are wasting their time so don't waste your time minimum six months experience is important for you so what you should learn and what you can learn in six months i am telling you if you want to work on mega project especially on construction site so in six, six months the mega project can't be complete for example four story five story or six story so there you will have a minimum uh, from one to two years experience so in one to two years experience you will learn a lot of things but the minimum it should be six months so just on construction site you should have knowledge about especially for structure uh, for steel structure in steel structure uh, you should have knowledge about uh, the uh, especially for a uh, bar bending schedule okay also how to read uh, civil engineering drawing how to read structure drawing so you should have knowledge about these thing and you should have learned about these thing which i'm telling you also you should have knowledge about shuttering okay also from the start if you want to uh, get experience from the start so how to do layout okay so uh, site clean uh, cleaning of site then making excavation so if that is mega project or a multi-story building so how to make raft foundation how they placed uh, its bed what should be the minimum uh, depth of uh, bed etc what should be the minimum dia there so according to the drawing you should have knowledge you should have learned if you don't try so you will just waste your time so if you know these things how to read a drawing uh, little bit knowledge about shuttering little bit knowledge about uh, steel reinforcement for beam column slab for the uh, so there is not uh, something difficult this is the reality so therefore uh, little bit something is important for you people if you want to do something for yourself so if you are working on construction site for little bit uh, pocket money so uh, this is not good for you and don't waste your time for four five six years experience so if there is not uh, a site engineer and you are alone there so they will just waste your time who the contractor will just waste your time so this is the reality as i discussed in the front of you hope this video can help you so the minimum experience should be for fresh civil engineer six months in six months you can learn a lot of so if you want to uh, work for four to uh, from four to six story or five story so you should have also uh, stay for uh, 1.5 to two years okay so that will be best for you but don't uh, work for the pocket money okay learn something new on construction site that will be best for you thanks for watching see you in next video Goodbye.